So well, if you, what do you mean? Uh, law of attraction will bring. What is law of attraction? If you think, if you let's say that you wake up in the morning and rather than finding that clear space that is potentially there for you to find, mm -hmm. instead, as soon as you wake up, you remember the trouble that you had yesterday, and you think about being at work and you think about the dilemma and you think about the discomfort and you think about the discord and as you focus for as little as 17 seconds more thoughts like that will join it okay so another 17 seconds more momentum still mm -hmm. another 17 seconds more momentum still until you cross something as short as the 68 second mark you have lost your window of alignment with source doesn't mean Esther said to us the other day because we said well you can always begin again tomorrow you can always begin again tomorrow and Esther said I refuse to accept that I have to wait all the way until tomorrow <laughs> to get back on my high-flying disc I can do it I know I can do it right. by focusing it's just so much easier so we like to talk about law of attraction because it is the vibrational engine that manages everything and we can't talk about law of attraction without talking about momentum because there is a momentum in thought and if you think a thought long enough it becomes a strong habit of thoughts what you call beliefs a belief is just a thought you keep thinking so sometimes you have beliefs that do not serve you but when you first awaken those beliefs are quiet enough that you can find a fresh one a fresh one that comes from source that is about who you really are and what you really know is the reverse of that uh, if you awaken and you have a very positive thought and that is um, I'm gonna heal myself well of that's this. a wonderful thing when you once you get that momentum going but what, like the 17 second rule apply to that as it well. applies to everything mm -hmm. and the rule of thumb is when you acknowledge that law of attraction is whether you like it or not and you acknowledge that it is responding to the vibration that you are offering right now mm -hmm. and therefore momentum will get going mm -hmm. so if we were standing in your physical shoes if the thought felt good we'd think it we'd mm -hmm. think more about it we'd talk about it we'd write it down we would discuss it with others we would deliberately encourage that momentum but if it's an uneasy thought if it feels uncomfortable then we would do our best to generalize it the more specific you become in a thought the more momentum the more general you become in a thought the slower the momentum Esther remembers San Francisco standing driving to the top of one of those what she called ridiculous hills she couldn't believe that people were actually driving <laughs> on those hills and so we said well imagine perching your car at the top of one of those hills take it out of gear take the brake off and just for fun just to see what happens nudge it a little bit from behind well you know what will happen and if you come to your senses you'll step out in front of it and let it bump up against you and you will stop that unwanted momentum but you would not want to be at the base of that hill stopping that unwanted momentum <laughs> so your thoughts are the same way when you get the hang of this when you begin to realize that every thought is vibration and that law of attraction is responding to every thought and the thought is going to increase the only question is is it one you want to increase mm. because it's going to increase law of attraction insists that it does